Hello everyone! Today the bookworms are going to be reading Do Watermelons Grow on Trees? by Jamie Sejewell, illustrations by Bobby Switzer. One day, I was watching the clouds go by and I had a thought. I don't know why, but I wondered. Do watermelons grow on trees? Yes, but only in the town of Schnobelville. The friendly town where the people are polite and always say, Excuse me, may I? Thank you, and please. Oh yes, my friend, watermelons do grow on trees, way up high on the top of the hill. That lumpy, bumpy, purple hill in Schnobelville. But you cannot see these special trees with just your eyes. You need some fancy schmancy binoculars like these. That brings those trees to life through your imagination. So, get on your knees. Believe when you look through these. But please... Be careful not to sneeze. Because one little sneeze would create enough breeze to knock those watermelons off the trees. And the poor little mouse could never finish eating his cheese. The end. Almost. Look through your fancy schmancy binoculars one more time. Draw a picture of the trees you see and share it with all your friends and family. They may laugh and think you're silly, but you can tell them, Oh yes, really, they do, they do. Watermelons do grow on trees. The End not quite. On a different day, I was watching the clouds go by and I had a thought. I don't know why, but it seemed kind of funny and I wondered. What if we ate the seeds? Would watermelons grow in our tummies? Then the answer came. From now on, I would be pleased to only eat cheese. No, don't be silly. Watermelons can only grow on trees. Then, something interesting happened. I sneezed. And when I opened my eyes, I found myself sitting on top of a cloud looking down at a whole forest of watermelon trees where lots of little mice were safely eating their cheese. And that's what happened when I thought about watermelon trees and eating their seeds. The end. Sort of, but not really. Nothing ever really ends because the end is always the beginning of something new. There are always new things to think about dream about, learn about, and do. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!